Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. I'm back again today with another pick a card reading for you. I want to say a big welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your kind, compassionate words, your support of each other in the comment section. You guys are amazing. I'm so glad that this channel is attracting you, such wonderful people and, and the way that you guys support me and your kind comments. You guys, you guys just make my day. If you guys are finding yourself on my channel for the first time, welcome. I do daily pick a card readings here. Um, I do messages for soulmates and separation. So if you are into tarot, please pull up a chair and grab yourself a cup of tea and we'll have a chat. We're all friends here at my kitchen table. So today's pick a card reading is an urgent message from spirit meant for you. Uh, we do have three piles in front of you. We have pile number one with the peacock spirit and the pink carnation. Pile number two with the bat spirit and the yellow carnation and pile number three with the zebra spirit and the dark rose carnation. Whatever pile or piles are calling out to you, my timestamps are listed below as always. Again, today is an urgent message from spirit meant to find you. What does spirit have to say to you? Um, what's going on in your life? What kind of warnings or, or blessings are coming your way? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into group number one. Hello everybody in group one. I hope you're doing great today. Um, you guys were drawn to the pink flower and the peacock spirit and this is your urgent message from spirit. So the peacock is all about pride. It's all about someone who um, is very attractive. So you guys could be very, very attractive. You could be somebody who really values the outside appearance and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with liking to be well put together. Um, somebody who is truly a king or a queen like you guys are a king or a queen in your own life you guys may be kind of flashy but you guys know your worth you know how valuable you are um, you're very attractive you like to take pride in your appearance um, and I think spirit is here just to remind you guys today of the royalty that you are you know straighten that crown if you've been feeling like you're worth less than what you actually are straighten that crown because spirit is here to remind you of your great importance so what messages do spirit have for you today? What urgent messages? What does spirit want to say to you today? What is going on with you? If you clicked on this video, spirit is urging you to pay attention to what might come out for you today. So focus on whatever issues are going on when, in your life. We have the two of pentacles. So I feel like people out there are really juggling life right now. You guys might feel out of balance. You guys have a lot of priorities on your plate um, and it's maybe becoming a little bit difficult for you. But again, I feel like you guys are really well put together. I feel like you on the outside, you handle things with grace and beauty. I feel like people marvel at you. <laughs> But in truth, like you guys are struggling. We have the seven of wands here and the seven of wands are all about obstacles in our way. The obstacles that get in the way of our goals. Um, and it's like seeing things that you're very clearly going to trip on and focusing on those, those obstacles, focusing on those little setbacks so that you, you feel like you can't move forward. You can't see the forest through the trees with the seven of wands. Um, it's about those passions you have in life that you really want to express it's about you know not being able to again not being able to see the end results from where you are because you could be feeling overwhelmed right now i feel like you guys are feeling a little bit overwhelmed we have the eight whoops we have the eight of wands i'm gonna get a few cards out guys so that we can get a clear view here Cool. Okay, we'll get out a couple of cards and then we'll talk about them. Urgent message meant for you. Two of Swords. Some indecision. You guys are having a difficult time making a decision. <clears throat> or you can't see a clear path again th through those obstacles. And the Hermit. 
on the back of the deck we have the hanged man so i really get the sense that you guys are feeling kind of stuck in whatever current situation you find yourselves in on the back of the deck we also have the seven of swords which i i feel like mentioning because i feel like on the outside no one would know that you're struggling because you are so confident or you make the appearance of being so confident so well put together but i do feel it and that's a secret you keep from people you know the seven of swords are about dishonesty about being kind of secretive and i just feel like you guys are feeling kind of lonely and stuck in your current position you want movement you want to be able to go towards your passions or your dreams quickly and swiftly it's what you're looking for but you're feeling kind of lonely and you're feeling kind of set in place with the hanged man here but it's important to remember about the hanged man is that we put ourselves in these states of suspension and that we can easily let ourselves down from this tree if we if we could just take a step back to clearly see you know the way in which to do so and here we have the two of swords taking off of that taking that mask off and figuring out which direction to go but you can't figure out which direction to go with if you're completely blinded and that's what spirit is trying to tell you right now is to try to look at everything logically right now you're feeling overwhelmed and it could be that you guys were were juggling a brand new start here we have this fool underneath this two of pentacles and that could just be your desire to kind of feeling so overwhelmed by the responsibilities in your life right now that you just want a fresh start you just want to leap into an unknown you're tired of the struggle you're tired of all of the obstacles that in your way and you feel like there's no way out or you can't see a clear way out so the hermit is really a call for you guys to sort of sink into yourselves go into that state of meditation so you can really hear the voice of spirit so that you can truly hear the messages that are coming through and the guidance that is coming through for you spirit wants you to take off those blindfolds and truly think about what you want and how to get there in a logical way you guys are getting getting frustrated but i do see movement here with that eight of wands i do see you know some a speedy change coming let's switch gears here and urgent messages your advice your advice spirit here we have the judgment card I'll get out a few more Your advice from spirit advice from spirit the nine of swords so this is a burden that you guys have been carrying. You feel like it's a really heavy burden that you guys have been carrying for a really long time and you really re require balance in the situation. And you know, the judgment card is all about, it's all about how, you know, a, a, an awakening, a rebirth, having a resurrection or a new start. And we have the fool here. So spirit is calling some of you guys to, if you've been juggling things in your life, and you're, you're kind of hung up on a decision to move into a new realm, even in a career situation, Spirit is really calling you that that's a good thing. You know, it's a good thing to let go of some of the past and to move forward into an unknown future because what you've been juggling right now, all of these responsibilities, maybe this decision that is weighing on your mind <clears throat> is truly, it's weighing on your mind so much because it's so important and it's because it's necessary in your life and it's weighing on your mind because change is scary and it's a scary thing to move forward into an unknown future. And, you know, I feel like you guys are losing sleep over this. It's giving you a lot of anxiety because you can't see, you know, where you're going to land into this new beginning that you're trying to embark upon or that you really want to embark upon. But again, I feel like this is a struggle you guys are kind of facing or you feel like you're facing it alone here in the 3D. Um, but Spirit is here to remind you you are not alone, that they are always with you. But this Nine of Swords, I see you guys losing sleep. I see you guys having a lot of anxiety. You could be feeling kind of depressed because you don't see a way through. And that is what the hermit, you know, the hermit is, here we have justice, balance. You know, that the reason for this hermit card is, you know, Virgo energy really represented, the loneliness is really represented here. Um, but it's a call for you to retreat and kind of seek 
the truth of the matter. It's, it's a call for you to take some time to take off of the blindfold um, and look at everything logically because we have justice here. This is meant to be the justice. You know, it's one of the major arcana. You have quite a few here. The hanged man, the hermit, justice, judgment, fool. Like, you know, it's a really, this is in the making. The universe is working on this for you and they've been working on it for a while. So it's, it's going to, once you're able to move yourself, push yourself through some of these obstacles, it's going to create a lot more balance in your life. You're going to feel happier. You're going to feel more secure in yourself. You're just going to feel more productive. It's about the truth. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So like I said, this is a faded change. This is happening. And we have the tower on the back of the deck. And I feel like saying that. And people get really scared about the tower. But, you know, if you think about cleaning out your closet, you have to make such a huge mess of that closet and of your bedroom and of everything around you in order to tidy everything up and make everything workable again. And that's what this is about for you guys. This is about breaking things in your life down that are no longer serving you, the tower, unexplained changes and chaos coming in to create the shift in your life and the shift in your reality that is needed for this balance, is needed for this justice. And it is a faded, you know, this is part of your plan fate and change. And, you know, the Wheel of Fortune also represents, you know, those sudden changes that sort of arise as well as that, you know, it's not necessarily a negative thing. Like the tower would always kind of represent a negative thing, but it doesn't even have to be a negative thing. It's about revelations. It's about, you know, yes, they're scary. They're unavoidable, but it's also a necessary step in order to break things down and to build it back up to where it's supposed to be. It's going to bring in a lot of clarity for you guys. This whole process, the breaking down of the situation, the breaking, you know, this is going to cause so much clarity, so much truth in the, and fairness in the situation. And you're finally going to feel like you can breathe easy. But you have to, you know, you can't have that rainbow unless you deal with some rain. We have the Knight of Swords charging into this situation with a rash attitude with you know maybe not even having the plan when you for when you get there but just charging in to get that truth charging in charging past literally charging through the firewall like if there's something in your way the knight of swords puts that blindfold on the horse and he charges through because he needs to get in and that's truly what is going to bring you all of this happiness queen of cups the happiness will come once you have the courage to charge through those those obstacles that you think are there and oftentimes when we take that blindfold off you're going to be a bit, sorry I feel like mentioning this too sorry my mind goes a mile a minute so when I see something and I think of it I have to mention it right away even if I interrupt myself and I want to let you guys know that I interrupt everybody in life too <laughs> so we have the three of pentacles this is about building up that foundation of happiness for yourself after all of this happens um yeah so I, it's important for me to mention as well that you know Oftentimes, if we take off that blindfold, things aren't as bad as what we thought they were. You know, the worries, the anxieties that you have in life, they don't come to fruition. The, your worst fears don't usually happen. So Spirit is here to remind you that they're here with you to help you along this process. And they want you to remember, you know, the king, the queen that you truly are. Remember who you actually are at the base of all things. You're not a, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, a friend. You are a, an incredible extension of the father. You are an incredible extension of source. And so you have so much power in your wheelhouse to create whatever, whatever happiness you want in this life. You can have that. Get some angel messages for you guys. Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. You guys are really in need of peace right now, but in order to get that peace, there's going to have to be a little bit of a shakeup. And I feel like some of you guys are right in the midst of that tower moment, that shakeup. But in order to combat some of these negative feelings, to get you guys some clarity, your angels are asking you to get outside, connect with nature, ground yourself with the earth. It's really important to envision yourself being grounded with the earth. 
Counselor, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and, res and reassurance. So you guys may be um, thinking about changing careers into that sort of realm. <clears throat> victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered, so have that faith. You guys are promised victory in this situation. And pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you. They are answered prayers. So the Spirit is trying to connect with you. They're trying to communicate you know, their thoughts with you. In those times of anxiety at night when you're having those bad dreams... Spirit's trying to speak with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Listen with your heart. You're listening, but you need to hear with a loving heart. You're in your own way. and you're, you're. It's like when someone's trying to encourage us, but we're in that state of despair. Anything that they say, we kind of have a, we have a reason for them to be wrong. And it's just because our, our emotions are so clouded in that moment. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Spirit is here to let you know. Be willing to express that love as well towards yourself. I feel like that's a really strong card for you guys to express that love towards yourselves. You guys are so hard on yourself. Let's get some little messages from spirit for you guys. Whoops, already they're jumping out. You are almost there. Take that leap. Let yourself, let, let everything that isn't serving you anymore crumble away. Leave the past where it belongs, you guys. Let it crumble away. Because you are so incredible. Let the universe work in your life. Be strong and be courageous. You guys could be a Leo out there. I just got a sense of someone out there being a Leo watching. Because this too shall pass. All of that indecision. All of those feelings of um, feeling limited in your life. It's not going to... You're never, you're not going to feel like that forever because they're working on it. Your guides, your work, they're all working on it, but they really want you to stop getting in your own way. <laughs> stop doing that. Charms for you. Oh, we have the chain. Okay. What do we have here? We have the Queen of Pentacles and, ooh, the Three of Pentacles. So some of you guys are um, really focused on your financial situation right here, and that's what this whole spread has been about for you. Um, some of you are focused on love, and that's what this spread has been, you know, all about for you. So I feel like I'm speaking to two different people, but at the same time, it's about building a foundation. So Spirit is telling you that you know, all of this breaking down that's maybe happening in your real life right now with those tower moments with, you know, the con you feel like everything is chaotic and you feel maybe frozen in fear to move forward. But there's a lot of abundance waiting for you when you start to rebuild. There's a lot of abundance and security and happiness waiting for you when you start to rebuild. So just remember that, that spirit is there to help you with that rebuilding. We have the police charm. We have the little black seahorse charm. So it could be a water sign. We have the, the key and we have, you know, the wings, you know, attached to the key. So looking at things from a higher perspective, you truly are the key to your own happiness. Spirit is here to let you know that. We have the chain and the chain reminds me of the devil. And so some of you guys might be um, almost like there could be an addiction you guys are facing, any type of addiction. And addictions can come in many, many forms. You know, you can be addicted to you know, alcohol, drugs, love, a certain person, um, working out even. There's all sorts of strange addictions out there. I used to watch that show, My Strange Addiction. I even saw a man who was in love with his car. He was addicted to it. Um, so, you know, Spirit's calling for you to kind of try to break those bonds that are holding you back here in life. You know, break up those those chains that you feel are there, that if you really took a hard look, they don't, they're not real. We have this, wishes do come true. Little char charm that says wishes do come true. We have the quarter here. 25th of the month could mean something to you. The year on this quarter is 1995. We have, this is the rune of, we have balance and we have protection. 
trying to restore balance. And you know what? It's, it, this is the friendship rune. And it's, it's really funny because I want... I want you to understand that spirit is really telling me that they are your friends. Like if you feel lonely, that hermit energy, if you're feeling really secluded mentally spirit, you have so many friends. You really do. Spirit is your friend. They're there for you. You know, we have this rune of balance, wanting to restore that balance to your life, but you have to restore it. It's important that you understand that you have to make those, you have to make those moves in your life to restore your happiness. We have another rune here that I'm going to take a quick look because I don't remember the exact wording. Okay, so this is the rune of wholeness. It talks about success, harmony, good health, self-knowledge, and triumph in general. The integration of mind and spirit becomes possible with this very powerful and positive rune. So it's, you know, the clarity that's going to come in for you guys throughout this whole process is going to be unmatched. You're going to learn so much through these, these moments of what you feel are really difficult, you know, chaotic moments, but you're going to learn so much and it's going to, it's going to help you to move forward. It's going to help you to walk into the victory that is truly yours. That, that spirit wants to see you wearing that crown, being victorious. It's coming for you guys. Just hold on tight and, see things clearly. You guys can do this. Okay, group one, that is your reading. Um, if this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you feel called to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. It helps me out so much. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next group. And I do hope to see you again on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hello, everybody in group two. I hope you're doing really great today. Thank you for joining me. You guys were drawn to the bat spirit and this little peach flower. And this is your reading, an urgent message from spirit meant to find you. So the bat is truly about, you know, being able to navigate your world without maybe the benefit of knowing where you're going, being able to benefit of seeing where you're going. We have the moon here as well. So the moon is all about fear and about a blocked intuition, perhaps. So some of you may be feel, feeling a little bit lost, not be, being able to see yourself through that dark night. But spirit's here to remember, to remind you that they're there to hold your hand through those dark periods to lead you through those th those difficult times in your life what is an urgent message meant to find you today what does spirit want to get across to you so we have the justice card coming out first it's all about balance so you guys are not feeling balanced right now i'm going to add a couple of cards and then we'll see judgment my goodness two major arcana already Urgent message. The Knight of Cups. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. We got all the big boys are coming out to play today. Spirit is really waiting. They've been waiting to talk to you. <laughs> okay, so we have some beautiful energy coming up here that Spirit wants to remind you of something great that's coming up and we have on the back of the deck okay okay you guys let's talk about this energy <clears throat> okay <laughs> so right out of the gate you guys we had three major arcana here and then we have you know some players that are supporting some supporting players <laughs> um the justice and the hierophant card the justice card is about balance it's about seeing things from both sides and having a clear perspective. And it's interesting because the bat is, you know, basically blind, you know, the, that whole adage of blind as a bat. And we have the Hierophant here and the Hierophant is all about institutions. It's all about, um, you know, it could be religious institutions, education, uh, organizations like that, teaching, church, structure. I'm going to get some clarity on that. I'm going to pull a card to see. The Hierophant, you guys, the Hierophant again, it's like I said what I said. <laughs> so you guys are maybe trying to climb the ladder of some sort of success. Um, I feel like you're trying to um, move up the ranks. Some of you might be asking about a career. You're trying to see where you're headed in that realm um, with this Hierophant card twice here. 
some of you are really asking perhaps about a marriage. The Hierophant card often speaks to me about marriage. The Eight of Cups about moving on. The Eight of Wands, movement. Oh my gosh. So this, yes, this could definitely be about a relationship here you guys are asking about or you're concerned about with this Eight of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Um, and two here event cards with the justice. So you guys are maybe feeling like you need to move away from a marriage or you really want a swift exit from that marriage or you feel like it's really time to let the pain of the past go and move away from a painful situation. And spirit is really here to remind you that it's difficult for you to maybe let go of this situation because you know, this could be somebody very nostalgic, very important to you from your past, could be a soulmate connection that you really feel strongly about. Um, but we have the judgment here and it's about resurrection. It's about a new beginning. The seven of, of wands. It's interesting because that card came up in the last pile as well. And it's about those obstacles we have in front of us that we can't see where we're going. So you guys are maybe asking about whether or not you should move away from this connection move away from or you know is this connection worth pursuing and i really feel like there is a call for a new beginning for you guys if there's an ending to a relationship over here i see a new relationship coming in for you guys and an end to some of the pain in the past and maybe you guys are really struggling because you can't see a clear way back to happiness because you've been hurt in the past um you can't see that clear path and that's really what this um seven of swords is to me but the judgment card is promising that rebirth it's promising a new start we have the knight of cups you have some gifts coming in and those gifts are going to lead to a lot of abundance for you in some cases this you know it's going to lead to a happy family life excuse me children um and it's about opening your arms to receive you know we have the back of the deck energy being this ten of swords and it's kind of a sad looking card <laughs> you know that person there's nothing more that can be done to that person emotionally they have thrown in the towel they are giving up on this idea that they've become so transfixed upon they've made it through a very dark night but i focus in this card on the beautiful dawn of that new day the beautiful strip of yellow in the middle of this card that really shows that after the dark night comes a beautiful morning after the pain of the past can bring in so you know the pain of you can't have new gifts coming in if you can't let go of what was not serving you and that is what this is a call to from spirit for you it's to open your eyes to move away from the deceit and the pain of the past and to move forward into a beautiful future because you guys have a new beginning coming and you guys might even be in the process of that right now you guys might be in the process of this weird strange kind of dark period where you're confused you kind of have made some decisions to move away over here but you're still really confused you're flip-flopping because change is scary and you're kind of your instinct is to go running back into the past to what you're comfortable with. But spirit is telling you to hold on, to traverse these obstacles carefully. You can move them out of your way because you have some gifts coming in that are going to lead to incredible happiness and incredible abundance. Not just abundance financially, but happiness, a happy sort of abundance in yourself. And, you know, the tens are about endings. The tens are about completions. So you're kind of have an end to your dark times. There's going to be an end to that, to make way for all of the good that's coming. And Spirit just wants you to open your eyes to receive that. And if you are not in the process yet where you have walked away or moved away from something that isn't serving you, Spirit is really telling you to speed up that process with this Eight of Wands. Get moving if you want to have this reality, this new reality, the pain, you know, falling away. If you want that sooner to get moving, that there is a call for a little bit of <clears throat> haste here. <laughs> I just saw the lover's card. So indecision, uh, Gemini energy. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are feeling really emotionally, maybe even financially um, insecure, feeling um, financially like a, there's a f sense of financial poverty, but there's also a sense of an emotional poverty here with that five of pentacles. You guys are struggling 
in your current situation. You know it's not serving anymore. And here we have, you guys have fantasies about a brand new life. I feel like sometimes you guys, in order to make it through some of these dark times, it's almost like you have like an inner dialogue with yourself where you have this perfect world. And spirit wants you to exercise that power within yourself to create this new beginning. They want you to understand you have many options open to you. And only you can take those paths towards any of those options for that new beginning. And here we have the King of Cups. You know, if you guys have a new relationship coming in, it's going to be full of abundance and full of love. There's, you know, the King of Cups is the utmost amount of love you can have. He is, you know, abundant. He's compassionate. He's a gentle person, just somebody who just overflows their love to you. And it may even feel like it's taken this person a long time to get to you. I'm really focusing on those turtles right now. But once he's there, he's there. Temperance, adding so much stability and happiness, a yin yang type of feeling to the situation to you. Let's get some um, advice from your angels. Teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. It's interesting because we had that Hierophant card twice. Um, you guys could be teachers and maybe there's a call for some of you guys to move out of that realm. <laughs> or to move into that realm if you guys have been um, focused on a different path. And I just saw the Indigo Crystal Children. You guys could be teaching children. Sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself during this time. Compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all involved, including yourself. Be gentle with yourself because divine order is in place here. Everything is how it needs to be. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. There is a perfect plan and it's working itself out in its perfection. But you have to act. You have to act and you have to be, you know, a... You have to be a player in your own life and you are the main player Love who you are. You are the divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things that life has to offer. I feel like you guys don't value yourselves the way that, like, it's incredible to me because you are a loving spirit of God. So how can you not value that? How can you not be amazed by that? Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And that's truly what we're talking about at the beginning of this reading, you know, the past disappointments. Um, speak the language of love as well. <clears throat> Focusing on the past hurts really freezes us in a state of fear to move forward because we don't want to repeat those. Um, we don't want to repeat those moments, but it's important to push past that that feeling. Otherwise, that's all we'll get is more of those feelings. It's about that manifestation. What does spirit want to say to you today? Don't give up, guys. Because you are so incredible. Spirit loves you so much. You are worthy. You are incredible. Your time of struggle is coming to an end. You have a lot of abundance coming in for you. You have a lot of love being offered your way. Because we see your, you struggling. And we hear you crying. And we see all of your pain, but they do want you to know that they are, that they see good things for you and that you are, you have so much happiness waiting for you, you guys. That 10 of cups is truly about that beautiful, oh, three today for you guys, that beautiful, it's like a dreams come true. It's like you can finally breathe easily. Everything is, everything is, is Everything in your life will be going the way you want it to be going. So three cards here. The wishes come true. It's like wishes come true. The nine of cups. Absolute wishes come true. Wishes granted. So you've been dreaming about what you want in life, who you want in life. Um, maybe it feels like a no-win situation. And we have this ten of wands. It feels like a burden that you haven't been able to put down for a really long time. But you are in charge of your own destiny. This this person could put these wands down at any time, drop them to the ground and keep trudging towards their goal. You know, there is a way through this situation. You can be victorious. We have the balance room and we started, we, I think we ended off 
over here with the temperance card. It's about restoring that balance to yourself. U and H. The shoe movement. Not a lot of charms for you guys today. Spirit just really wants you to focus on tarot, I guess. We have the penny, 1980. So again, the penny represents those pentacles, that ace of pentacles, um, news coming in, gifts coming in. Um, open your arms, be ready to receive from spirit because again, lots of abundance coming in for you guys. Okay, group two, that is your reading. Um, if this resonated with your situation, this is the urgent message that spirit wanted to get across to you today. Please leave me a comment in the comment section. I love to read them. Um, if you feel called to head on over to Instagram, I'm over there. In the next couple of days, I will be posting an opportunity to win a free mini reading with me. So be sure to check that out if that is what you're into. Um, Otherwise, I just hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I really appreciate your presence here. Bye, guys. Hello, everybody in Group 3. I hope you're doing really, really well today. I really appreciate you guys joining me. You guys were drawn to the Zebra Spirit and this Two-Tone Flower, and this is your reading from Spirit, an urgent message for you. What does the Spirit want to get across to you? Well, we have the Zebra Spirit, and truly, um, Spirit is here to remind you that you are a mesmerizing person, that you have so many things. It's almost like... There's something so special about you that when people meet you, it's like disorienting a little bit. Um, it's also a reminder from spirit that when you think you're alone in situations, when you think you're struggling through a situation by yourself, they're actually watching you. You may not be able to see them. You may not even be able to feel them in that moment because you're still so focused on your own pain, but they are watching you. They are keeping their eyes on you and it's with love and with compassion ready to jump in whenever you need them. Um, but you just have to open your heart to receive those, those messages and those. So what is an urgent message for you, group three? I'll get out some cards and then we'll talk about what they mean and what message spirit wants to use this opportunity to get across to you today. Okay, so we are starting out this energy, this reading with the devil card. Um, you could be a Capricorn. Someone said in my reading that they hate being associated with the devil as a Capricorn. And Capricorns are great people. They're very, you know, dependable in the sense that they're very great with money. They're very well grounded. So, uh, you know, make sure that you always embrace your Capricornness. So we have the Eight of Swords. We also have the Knight of Wands. Urgent message, please, Spirit. What do you want to say? Three of Swords. Whoops. Lost it, but that was the Hanged Man, I believe. Hold on. Is the Hanged Man... We have the Ten of Wands. We also have Temperance that wants to come out, so we're going to pull her. And we have the Page of Cups on the back of the deck, so we're going to pull that underneath the Temperance card here. Okay, so let's talk about, and we have the Two of Swords, I feel like mentioning that. <laughs> um, let's talk about this reading and what your spirit guides want to say to you today. So I feel like, you know, we have two major arcana here, or three, I guess, when you think about it, because that is the back of the deck energy. So we have the ta the devil, the hanged man, and the temperance card. And what those, those really tell me is that you guys are feeling unbalanced. You're feeling stuck in some sort of energy that is not serving you anymore. The devil can be about you know, fear, it can be about addictions that maybe you're kind of struggling with and addictions can come in many, many different forms. But what it shows me is that you guys are really feeling trapped in your own situation right now. Um, the eight of swords, uh, even, you know, the traditional Rider weight eight of swords shows that person with the blindfold with all of those swords around them. And if sh this person just took the blindfolds off, they could easily walk away from the conflict that they're feeling. But it really shows this self-imposed restriction you've placed upon yourself and it's really heartbreaking to see and it's really heartbreaking energy at the beginning of this reading because we have this horror, horror I was gonna say this horrible three of, of swords and I say horrible because it's so sad it's so heartbreaking and it's like your guides want to take those that pain away from you you see this these two people like this person is just 
they can't even help themselves anymore but this their guides are this friend of theirs is helping to pull those swords out of their back your guides want to help you out of these feelings of restrictions they want to remind you of your power and again how mesmerizing you are how incredible you are um, and i feel like you know we have the knight of wands here the desire to maybe move your passions forward though that knight of wands talks about the charisma you know your passions your need for adventure we have the ten of wands which really calls for endings of an oppression that you've been feeling the burden the hard work that you've maybe feel like you've been putting in to no avail you haven't reaped the benefits yet of that and I feel like some of you guys are asking about love maybe you guys have really struggled in the past with a relationship over here maybe with a Capricorn that has really broken your heart and you felt really stuck in this connection because you and, but again, it's a self-imposed connection. You don't want to walk away because you maybe feel addicted to this person. And it's been a burden for you. A burden that you haven't been able to express this passion or you haven't been able to truly, to truly be able to express yourself. Get some clarity over here, you guys. But we have this beautiful page of cups and I'm, I'm going to get to this page of cups, but I want to also talk about this two of swords because it's about that indecision you guys are finding yourselves in. And again, the two of swords in the traditional deck, that person's wearing a mask. I feel like you guys are very, oops, unaware of your own power in your own life. And this page of cups promises a new offer coming in out of the blue. So a new love, a message of love or happiness coming in out of the blue that will restore some of this balance that you guys have been really missing in your life. So if you're worried about a love situation, you guys might have a new offer coming in. But you have to open your eyes to see it. You have to um, take a look around and open your arms to receive. Otherwise, those blessings get placed somewhere else. So a blessing will never get wasted. And someone once told me that, you know, if, if God brings you in a blessing or brings you in something that you even have been asking for in your soul, and then once he gives it to you, you're like, I'm not ready for it. I don't know what to do with it. He will give that blessing to someone else. He's not going to let it go to waste. Why would he? The star. Don't give up hope in this situation. I feel like you guys are maybe feeling a little bit hopeless in that, in that you don't know how to move forward. Don't lose hope. The star card is really here to remind you of spirit's love of you, your guide's love of you, how much they care about you, how you are a star to them. You are literally, the, the as I said earlier, you are the main player in this whole thing. They are all here for you. It's like a Beyonce concert. You are Beyonce. They are all the handlers. <laughs> they are there to do everything that you need them to do to serve you. We have the page of pentacles, but you have to listen to their messages that are coming through. That page of pentacles is news coming in. So if you guys are feeling stuck and hung up, prepare for a, a little bit of a change um, with this page of pentacles. It's about manifestation. It's about new opportunity coming in. And it's about trust, trusting in the process, trusting in, you know, the future. The page sort of throws himself into a situation kind of like the fool because he doesn't have the experience behind him to know that he could fall on his face. It's like that childlike innocence of knowing that you're going to fall and that's why you get scared. The page doesn't have that fear. So they just kind of, look, it's just balancing on one foot, heading, you know, they feel like they're the key. And that's what, how spirit wants you to feel because you are abundant. You have a lot of abundance and happiness coming in for you. I also just saw the page, here we go, and I feel like pulling them both, so I'm going to. The page and the chariot here, um, indecision maybe to move forward, but I want you to understand that the chariot is about action. It's about willpower and determination. Um, the page of wands is about expressing those passions you have in life. So some of you are asking about love here, but some of you are asking about your future and about you know some of those projects that you want to bring forth. And again, it's about leaping, not really knowing where you're going to land, but with a childlike innocence, being able to express those passions. The Page of Wands is about the inspired thought that leads to action, and you guys are being called to use it with the chariot. It's a movement card. I don't even know where to put these. <laughs> I also feel like pulling this one here. The Death card. People see it as a terrible omen, and it's not. It is not a terrible omen. It is a beautiful omen of rebirth 
of abundance coming in for you guys of a, a change that's desperately needed to restore the balance that you guys feel is not there you guys have the page of cups here we also have the page of cups on the back of this deck so some of you guys have new love coming but that's the thing that spirit wants you to understand that it's difficult to let go of these old connections that are not serving us anymore, but you cannot move into the abundance that is promised you if you don't let go of those connections, if you don't release them and allow yourself to transcend into a new place, allow yourself to put down the burdens that you feel like you need to carry because you have gifts waiting for you and spirits calling you to kind of accept these gifts with a childlike innocence and it's hard to do when you're kind of jaded by the pain of the past and you feel restricted and you feel like you can't move forward take those blindfolds off you are so capable you are a mesmerizing incredible person with so many gifts and talents at your, on your at your wheelhouse or in your wheelhouse rather advice from your angels all is well everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand all of this pain is not for naught you know all of these you, these feelings of restrictions these feelings of helplessness they're not for nothing they're for you to learn you know it's like a happy little accident and it won't feel like that in the midst of the pain but when you look back and you see where you're sitting in this abundance in this happiness with this new love you're going to be able to, it's about teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others. It's about learning from your experiences and carrying that information forward into your regular life so other people can benefit from seeing you in victory. Sometimes it really gives other people the courage. Gentleness, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. And here we have spread your wings. Don't be afraid to fly back. Don't hold back. The timing is perfect. You are ready to soar. Don't be afraid. Some of you are tra transitioning your career. And that's what this whole reading has been, been about. And you have that new opportunity coming with that page of cups out of the blue twice. So spirit really is telling me you guys have that opportunity coming. If you're not asking about your career and you're asking about love, that new love offer is coming. Act as if your partner is already here. So that really speaks about, you know, people looking for love. Act as if this new offer is already upon you. But it's also about that career um, card as well, I feel. Act as if you already have the job. It's about manifestation. Create the life you have always wanted in your mind. Down to the last detail. And ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support because that's what your guides are here for. <laughs> They don't want to be, you know, resting on their laurels. They want to be helping. They want to be active. And they're working every moment of every day for you. You know, time does not exist on the other side. It's, it's, we make it a linear system here. They have nothing but time over there to focus on you and your goals. Rest and relaxation are essential. Taking a moment to really take stock of your situation, to take stock of your current um, feelings and emotions are really important right now. You need clarity. Stop getting in your own way. Those addictions, letting go of those things again that no longer serve you. You need to be honest with yourself and the situation that you find yourselves in. Because you're not just being honest with yourself, you're being honest with your guides on the other side. They see all of your pain and they want you to know that when you're feeling alone, they're with you. So if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling entrapped by yourself, you're not in that darkness all alone. Show gratitude. <clears throat> when we're in the process of manifestation, the gratitude step is so important. And it's not about just saying, oh, I feel grateful. It's about truly feeling that emotion. So if you're grateful for your house, then think about something, you know, think about that. Truly be grateful for the fact that you have a home. Your tears are not going unheard. We're with you. We hear what you're going through because they see your heart is heavy. I just saw that card. <laughs> In your worst moments is when we cling to you the most. We have three more. <laughs> Wipe your face and straighten your crown. And you're strong. 
give yourself some credit. Again, on the back of the deck, we see your heart is heavy. We see that happening. They see everything. This one and this one. We have the chain there. We had the devil. That's interesting. Okay. We have the king of pentacles. Beautiful energy. And the ten of wands. We had the ten of wands in your reading. We had the king of pentacles. And that's another, you know, message from spirit that these burdens, these, this heaviness you've been carrying on your back so blindly, um, they want you to put them down. They want you to put down those burdens Put them down so that you can step into your abundance, so you can step into the gifts that spirit wants to bring forward. We have S and C. <clears throat> you could be Santa Claus. I don't know. <laughs> we have the chain that makes me think of the devil. And we have the devil card starting, starting out this whole reading. You know, those restrictions, those things that are holding you back. Um, they could be actual physical addictions that spirit is calling, for, uh, calling upon you to let go of. Um, it could be about feeling that addiction about the pain in the past. Like sometimes we become addicted to the pain. We become addicted to those feelings. It's not even necessarily maybe an addiction, but it's like you're so used to that feeling of pain that it's almost the norm. And Spirit's asking you to kind of take a, take a clearer look. Take a look around you. Put those wands down for a while. And take a look around. You don't even know how close you are to your goal yet because you're refusing to see the forest through the trees. But you have abundance waiting for you. You have happiness waiting for you. We have the little elephant. Wisdom is really, you know, speaks to me about, or sorry, I hear the word wisdom in my mind when I see the elephant. I also think about um, India. So you could be from India. We have this pineapple um, someone in my comment section said the pineapple represents friendship. So you have friends in spirit. If you're feeling really low and you need a 3D connection, reach out to your friends in this time of transition while you're moving into, you know, a new beginning, transitioning out of this old, out of the old energy and into this new, this new start that's going to be offered to you that will be restoring all of that balance. We have the forever your guides are with you. They've been with you since the beginning of this experience. They'll be with you till the end of time. They'll be waiting for you when you take your last breath. They're here with you forever. They love you forever. And that is really the message they want to get across to you that at the end of all things, they think you're amazing. Okay, group three, that is your reading. That is your urgent message from spirit today. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you feel called to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell. Um, hit the like button. That helps me out so much. Uh, if you guys are on Instagram, I'm over there as well. I will be posting an opportunity to win a free mini reading with me for the month of July. Um, so if you're interested in entering that, please head on over to Instagram in the next couple of days. Otherwise, I just hope to see you guys here in another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Bye, guys.